Hey everyone, this is DSpaz Gaming, and today I'm going to show you how to add like custom apps on your LG Rumor Touch. So, what you want to do? See, I'm going to show you an example of a custom application. Um, my stuff. See, see this media card button? This is a new button that isn't usually there. I will show you how to get that. Um, applications, and see, I have like. This thing, Tune Wiki Player. Yeah, th this phone can basically use any Java-based app. Um, this is a third party. It is not um, allowed by Virgin Mobile. So, yeah, you can consider yourself a badass. Okay, so I'm going to start this segment of the video off by saying I'm not responsible for you doing anything that could potentially harm your computer or your phone or your power source or anything around you because, well, I'm not forcing you to do this, this is just a guide in a way that I found the easiest way to do it for, for me. I'm not saying it'll work for you, it'll probably work for you, but, I mean, you're probably going to have to be really stupid to mess up your computer doing this, but I mean, I know people who could mess up their computer attempting this, so, um, yeah, not a good idea. So, what you want to do is, um, click your phone's memory card that you put into your computer, um, and make a folder on it called Apps. A capital A P P S. It has to say that exactly. If it doesn't say that, then it won't work. So, um, then what you want to do is go to a website. Uh, what is it? Um, oh, VMTouch.com. And here's all the homebrew apps that will work for your Virgin Mobile Touch, as well. As, I mean, not Virgin Mobile. Uh, LG Rumor Touch. Virgin Mobile Touch, sorry. Um, yeah, and these are some games that'll work. Um, I like Assassin's Creed 2 and uh, Diner Dash. They're actually really fun. Mario Bros. is unfunctional, so don't don't try downloading that. So what you want to do is just download an app. Say, I'll download Dictionary. Uh, so it's downloaded. Now I have it right here, dictionary.zip. Um, and go to your folder uh, right here. No, that's not it. Um, so, as you can see, I already have some apps in here. Um, go to this file, extract it by clicking on it, and then you'll get a folder. Um, folder, dictionary. Just drag that in to the apps folder, and bam, it's in. So, now you're going to Unplug your phone or your micro SD adapter, and I'll continue this video on camera. So I've copied the application to my phone, and as you can see, it's connected to the PC right now via USB cable that um, plugs into my PC, as you can see. And that basically turns this phone into a big micro SD adapter that lets you copy stuff to the phone. Now if you've lost this cord, then what you want to do is go out to like any like office uh, computer store and buy a micro SD adapter that'll let you put the micro SD card in this phone into your computer. So um, the new app is called Dictionary. So go to My Stuff and after you've added that apps folder, you should get a new folder under My Stuff called media card. Now I'll, I'll say that again. My stuff, media card. Now some of these apps are unstable. Some of them the this phone is not powerful enough to handle but most of the apps will work and they will work relatively well. So as you can see here's dictionary. Go. Now I'll say dictionary, the version, blah blah blah, who made it. And here's the install button, download initiating, saving. Obviously, it didn't download anything as it was already on the card. Um, hmm. So now, launch. Okay. So now it's launching. I've never used this app, so I don't know if it'll work. So, hey, start. Um, I'm going to type in a word. Um, 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 AIDS. Oh, that did not work. AIDS. Oh, oh, here we go. 
Oh, this is going to be really temperamental. Because there's an on-screen keyboard. A. I. D. S. Okay. It actually, it, it worked. An immunity defi immune deficiency syndrome, an often fatal viral syndrome marked by severe loss of resistance to infection. So yeah, this app is pretty good. Um, well, I'm actually kind of impressed with this app. Now, oh god. Okay, so other things you can do with this is, I'm um, sorry, my phone just lagged because I got a slew of text messages. Um, so another app that I like that really is convenient is a, um, a third-party media player app because if you have this phone you'll know you cannot multitask with the media player well not anymore as you can see there's a, a media player called tune wiki player tune wiki player um, and it lets you play a wide variety of audio files in the background as well so songs oh. songs it's actually a nice polished interface. I like it. Um, let's play uh, Eminem's Beautiful. And this this app is really nice because it connects to your 3G connection and pulls the lyrics in real time as you listen to the song and the album art. This is um, this song did not come with album art, but it pulled it for me. So I this is a nice app. So as you can see, I can go to the background. Um, Go to my text messages, um, and I can respond. Cool. I'm doing the video right now. Multitasking rocks. This guy has this guy I'm texting right now has his phone on um, Sprint, so. Um, Mine's better, just just to tell you that. <laughs> so, um, yeah, and I have Application Manager. Just go right back into that app, and you can end it. So, yeah, that's um, basically it. Thanks for watching, and remember to subscribe. Thanks. So, for those people who do not have the privilege of having a Mac, um, I've decided to add on to this video um, how to copy the files on a Windows, even though it's pretty straightforward. But I know I'm going to end up getting like a whole truckload of questions about um, how to copy it on Windows. So here is how I'm going to show you. Um, so first, uh, autoplay. So first you go to um, the site, like, I forget what it's called, VM. No, that's not what it's called. Um, wait, let me go back and check it out. Uh, it's called vmtouch.com vmtouch.com oh that's why I said virgin mobile touch in my earlier video so yeah um went down applications games applications um let's see what we can download you can download um uh, what's a good app Hmm. Let's try JTEX Lite. So here it is, JTEX Lite.zip, show and find folder. <laughs> I've gotten used to the Mac. Used to be a real Windows whiz. Okay, JTEX Lite, open that up. Yeah. Uh well you're probably gonna have to put this in a folder first. You can't put the zip file on the on the phone just to tell you that. So extract to JTEX Lite. So that'll basically make a folder for it. I don't know where it is. Um, where'd it go? Oh, here it is. So, copy that file. The heck? Oh, crap. Um, J text light. Copy that file. Go to your SD card. Put it in the apps folder. And there you go. That's how you copy it on a Windows. So, as I said before, thank you for watching and remember to just uh, thank you for watching and remember to subscribe. This is Spaz Gaming or the Spaz Gaming. I, I changed my name, you know. It's Fly.